And I think trying to distinguish between healthy striving for excellence versus clinical perfectionism is really quite important. So if you've got a healthy striving for excellence, we might take Usain Bolt as an example of healthy striving. For excellence. Clearly he's sort of got a natural talent. But you see him and if he doesn't do well in a race, he's described how he would learn from that. It wouldn't paralyze him. He wouldn't go over and over it. He wouldn't dwell on it, but he would be able to be objective and learn from, from that mm -hmm. and therefore improve. Whereas somebody that has more of that sort of clinical perfectionism is really mm -hmm. very self-critical and it affects how they view themselves as a person right. so that they're less able to be objective. They're less able to learn from their mistakes. They have a lot of sort of anxiety and sort of anger and guilt. It becomes mm -hmm. quite a complex experience. And those same sorts of people, when they do well, are unable to congratulate themselves mm. typically they feel relief mm -hmm. but that relief is is very temporary okay. and then they kind of often discount it so well I might have Andy Murray mm. might have won the Olympics but it was easy that year so mm. it sort of gets mm. discounted in right. some way right. in terms of an achievement and the bar gets raised